All right, so what do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Lil Timmy, and I'm back here with another video today, bro. As y'all see from the title, bro, we're going to be talking about a female attraction story time whilst being on steamer attention. So yeah, y'all, this actually was today. Earlier, I was getting my cardio in, really just chilling. And mind y'all, bro, when I'm walking and shit, like I be having my music and shit playing. So y'all keep that in mind. So, you know, I'm walking down the street and shit and I see this car, it's just parked, like in a very weird spot, it's just parked. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, fuck, ain't got shit to do with me. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. I just never see anybody parked there in that spot. So I keep walking and shit, right? And then that car drives by me, and there is three girls in this car. The girl in the driver's seat, and then there's two girls in the back seat. So as the car is driving by me, right, the girl in the back right, she looks at me, and she, like, starts screaming some shit. But mind y'all, I can't hear her because I have on earphones. I just keep on walking because I seen her scream something, but they drove past me. So I'm like, all right, bet I can't really get to her. But then they literally pulled, pulled over to, like, a house that literally I'm about to pass. And before they pulled over, she literally looked back again and started smiling and she was waving at me, saying something. But mind you, I could not hear her because I had on my earphones. I didn't think to turn them off yet because I didn't think that they was ready to stop. So once I seen her stop, I'm like, all right, bet you. Let me just go over there to see what she wanted because I literally could not hear her at all with those headphones on. So I went over. I was like, hey, excuse me, quick question. What were you saying? Because I had on earphones. I couldn't hear you. And she was like, nah, I really was just saying that you look good. And honestly, I didn't think you would notice. That's what she said. And I'm like, oh, word, how old are you? I'm just trying to start the conversation, get the shit rolling. I was like, oh, all right, thank you. I appreciate it. How old are you? She said that she was 18. I'm like, I'm like all right, bet. Like, that's cool. And then they asked me, like, how old are you? And I told them. And they was like, nah, that ain't, ain't, that ain't how old you is. And I'm like, what? What you mean? I was like, you think I look older or I look younger? She was like, you definitely look older. And this was the oldest lady with them. Once we discussed my age and shit, yeah, like she started laughing. And I was like, shit, like you want my number or something? Since you said I look good? She was like, yeah, I'll definitely take your number. So she pulling out her phone and shit. And then the older lady that was with them, she was like, yeah, like you're not going to introduce yourself? So I was like, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, you right. My name, Tim, what's your name? And you know, I shook her hand and shit. And I told her that she, that, that, uh, I like the piercings because she had two piercings right here that looked mad good. So I was like, yeah, like, what's your name? My name's Tim. She was like, my name is Alyssa. We're going to say her name because no one gives a fuck. Yeah, so she was like, yeah, my name is Alyssa. And I was like, uh, you live around here? Because this is my first time seeing you around this hoe. Like, this is in my neighborhood, dog, where I live at. Like, most of the girls I've seen around this bitch, like, I recognize them because I've seen them at least one time, at least. So this girl, I've never seen her before. And she was like, yeah, I actually live here, but uh, I go to school right now. I actually go to Morgan University. This is kind of giving out my geographical location, but not really. But yeah, she, she goes to Morgan State. Like Morgan, it's, it's a college in Baltimore. So I was like, oh, why, why, that makes sense and shit. Uh, so I was like, yeah, what you here for break or something? Cause like I said, I never seen you before. And she hit me with the, no, nah, I'm actually just here tonight uh, visiting my friends. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'ma hit you, mind you, bro. When she said that she only here for the night, I already got the memo. Like, nigga, she's trying to link and she's trying to do shit tonight. Like, <laughs> when she let me know that, like, yeah, like, nigga, it's a short, long, open window of time that we got, nigga. Come on now. And she shot her shot that bold. You know what I'm saying? I'm already knowing was Gucci. Yeah, bro, that was really it. That, and then I just walked off. And then I texted her and we started texting. And that's what it is. I'm literally finna link, literally, as I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video is... But I just want y'all to know, like, this is the type of shit that happens while you're on semen retention, bro. Like, girls literally cannot resist you. Um, if a girl thinks you're attractive, they're going to most likely say it or let you know in, in some sort of way. Whether if it's an obvious way or if it's a covert way. Which meaning, they're going to let you know that they think you're attractive. But it's going to be kind of under the radar shit. Shit that you got to catch. You understand what I'm saying? I already know, bro, when you're on semen retention, bro, your energy is literally magnet, like magnetic as fuck like literally like think of like that wi-fi bar think of a full wi-fi bar right but just shit is like 15 of those bars and your shit's like all the way up fill like <laughs> that's your energy on semen retention bro like this shit be like bro this bro you over pull on semen retention bro because here's what you gotta understand bro most niggas is beating me every single night um, just busting gallons of nuts on themselves every single night. So these niggas be depleted running around. When you want semen retention, bro, your energy is so rare. It's so different. And motherfuckers feel your energy, dog. And like I said, bro, you're rare because nine times out of ten, nine, ten, nine out of ten guys, like I said, that's, that's their routine every night. 
beat, go to sleep. And I know because, nigga, I used to be one of them. <laughs> But nah, bro, like, what's some real shit, though? Like, this really what happens when you want seam retention, bro. Girls be on you, bro. And shit really just start clicking for you, bro. And I ain't even gonna cap, bro. Like, you should never do seam retention just for the female benefits. Because that shit's, like, undeniable. Like, it's gonna happen. And let me tell y'all this right here. Remember this. This is really the key point in this video. Seam retention is not bullshit. No fat is not bullshit. Anybody that's trying to tell y'all that shit, they are trying to mislead you. They are trying to not... Get you to use that secret sauce. Cause nigga, when I tell y'all semen retention is the secret sauce, my nigga, it is the secret sauce, my nigga. Like, I'm be honest with y'all, bro. This is the second time that a girl pulled over and got my number, dog. The first time that this happened, I was on a different streak than the one that I'm on now. So, and, I'm, and I could explain that one too, cause it's really quick. I used to work at this gym, it's called PA Fitness. I was training the client, right? And then I got done. So mind you, I'm hella hot after I just worked out with a client. So I took my shirt off. And my, so I just got on a tank top and some shorts. So when I walked outside, I literally see a car driving by me, right? It's two girls, one in the passenger, one in the front. The one in the passenger seat is literally breaking her neck, just staring at me, looking at me, right? Like the whole time that she's passing me, she's looking at me. And then even when they pass me, she even breaking her neck, turning around. So I'm like, all right, yeah, like she thinking I'm cute. So my job, I, I hit her with the what's up. Like I said it a little loud because like she clearly was far away a little bit. I was like, what's up? Bro, when I tell y'all, bro, they stopped that motherfucking car on a dime. Like, skirt. And they literally pulled into the parking lot and watched to see what car I was going in and literally pulled up to the car. So they pulled up to the car. I was like, what's up? And uh, she was like, what's up? You got, Insta you got Instagram or Snap or something. I was like, nah, I don't, but you can have my number though. And uh, yeah, she was like, yeah, I'll definitely take it. Yeah, bro, so we basically exchange information and shit. And same retention is crazy. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Anybody that's trying to tell y'all that it's bullshit, they are bullshitting you. And they really don't want the best for you, bro. Like I said, don't do same retention for the female benefits because, bro, like that shit's gonna come regardless. Like, like, bro, females really be on you on this shit, bro. They feel your energy is mad different. It's not like these other niggas out there, bro. So that really was just a quick story time. I'm going to be having, I'm going to be uploading mad story times because little shit like this happens to me on a daily. I'm just now deciding to start talking about it. So, yeah, bro, if you made this far in the video, bro, I appreciate you, bro, and the guys on the motherfucking gang, nigga. You know what type of time it is, little brother. Keep doing your thing, saying fuck with anybody else talking about as long as you're happy dig what i'm saying bro and keep following god bro keep having faith in god bro because his plan and script is way better than anyone that you or me could ever write up dog so keep having faith in him bro keep following god yeah bro i'm gonna catch you on the next video i'm out of here coach <laughs>